Hello YouTube, Odyssey checking in. Today I have a quick guide for Fallout 1 and I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited bottle caps uh, early on in the game. Alright, this is not a cheat and it's not an exploit, it's just something that you can do in game and it's very very helpful at the very beginning uh, on the early stages. Now, um, I'm going to load a game. This game is right after I completed the Missing Caravans uh, quest. I strongly recommend that you complete that quest because you're going to need the starting bottle caps as a fund. Alright, so um, the steps to follow if you are making a new game is just make your character whatever you want it to be, then go to Shantytown before going to the vault and speak with Ian on Shantytown. Ian is a guy that's right here. Just walking with me. You can um, you can talk him into joining as a companion. Um, when you talk to him, he's going to let you know about a place called the Hub. And uh, right now we are in the Hub. Okay. Once you reach the Hub, as I said, uh, you want to go to the gun store and speak with Beth, and then you want to go to the Fargo Traders office and speak. Uh, with the leader of the Fargo traders so that you can get the missing caravans uh, quest. On that quest you have to defeat an enemy which is a dead claw. It has um, 250 health points if you're playing on normal and it's pretty tough to beat. So any if you can get the initial rifle from Bolt 15 uh, you can dispose of it really fast and get those initial 800 caps. Now, I'm going to show you my current bottle cap count. I have 1,300 bottle caps. Alright, so far I'm wearing the initial leather jacket ar armor and uh, we are pretty much the very first weapons that you find in game. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate, triplicate, I don't know, you can get up to 99,000 bottle caps if you want by following this. You want to go into the Crimson Caravan building, scroll down and you will find this little broken um, roof which belongs to the Maltese uh, something. <laughs> it is the Maltese Falcon, <laughs> my bad. You wanna go there. And as soon as you get in, you will be able to see the whole inside of the building. The Maltese Falcon is the... Well, uh, it's there is this place where it's a roulette. I believe it's a roulette table. Just speak with the, with the guy that is taking care of it. And right now we have 1,300 caps, as you can see here. Okay. The key to making this easy and fast is to press the keys uh, 4 and 1 on your keyboard. When you press 4, you're going to select the 50 caps option, which is a maximum bet. And when you press 1, you're going to say, OK. All right, you're going to be winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, winning, losing, winning, losing, whatever. The point in here is that you're going to win more often than you're going to lose, even if you let the uh, gambling skill at default, which is 23, I believe, even if you don't touch it in your initial character creation, uh, you're going to get this result. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose, but it's going to be as easy as this. Just watch. That is 4 and 1, 4 and 1, 4 and 1, real fast. You're probably gonna grow a little tighter, uh, a little tired of making this. So, if you have any kind of macro uh, enabled devices, I don't know, a racer or a coarser keyboard, uh, something that allows you to make this macro real quick to repeat over and over, you can just let it run indefinitely. And you just keep doing it, keep doing it. You get tired, you can use the numeric keyboard as well. Well, 
2,000 caps right now. That is like 700 caps in... What? One minute? Less than one minute? You can just keep doing this indefinitely. Don't worry if sometimes you go... You lose 700 caps as well in less than a minute. Uh, the chances are that you're going to keep winning regardless. And I tested this. I actually made that macro myself. And um, I let it run for three hours. Let me show you the ending result. All right, 2,294 caps with the default skill for gambling. Okay, now let's go say no thanks. Let me show you what happens if you let if you do this for three hours. Here we go. That's what happens. You get 99,999999. Alright, you probably don't want to do this. I just made it to see if it was possible. And to see what was the limit of bottle caps that you can carry. This is the limit. However, uh, you probably don't want to do this because it will ruin the experience. Um, you can do this a little exploit if you want to call it like that so that you can get some initial equipment with you i don't know a more powerful armor or rifle for example the, um, something that i strongly recommend is this battle armor which is like 10,000 caps early on game but it's going to help you to survive a lot of difficult encounters on the early stages especially if you take on the crimson caravan um, missions this is going to be very very helpful okay well now you know how to do it, no no cheating, it's just within the game code itself. Alright, once again, I hope that you have liked uh, and enjoyed this little guide. I'll try to keep in uh, posting most con uh, more content about the Fallout games now that they are back on trend. And well, if you like this video, like this video, and remember to subscribe for more guides. This is Odyssey checking out, happy betting and happy gaming out there.